What's up guys, it's your boy Jordan and I'm back with another e-commerce video. Guys, we hit 1,000 subs. That is such a good feeling. I don't think you guys understand. It's awesome to see how fast this community has been able to grow and the amount of support that I've been getting with my content. But it's only up from here. This is just the ground level. I'm trying to hit big goals this year with my YouTube channel and I'm glad to have you guys along for the ride. Now, that being said, if you're not a part of the family yet, definitely hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you can know when I upload this new fire content. In this video, I wanna talk about a way to literally automate the process of watching your ad sets and making sure which ones are doing good and which ones are doing bad, and even how you can automate the scaling process of your campaigns. It's awesome stuff, and most of it's integrated into the ads platform already, and a lot of people don't even know that it exists. So, if you like e-commerce and are interested in growing your business, check the link in the description down below to join my Facebook group. And without further ado, let's get right into this video. This isn't going to be a long, drawn out tutorial. It's simply going to be showing you guys a tool that I use every single day to assist and help with managing my ads and my campaigns. So in just a little bit, we're gonna jump into my computer and I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I'm doing to automate the processes that I'm talking about here. But just as a disclaimer, this feature with Facebook ads can be a little buggy sometimes. I'm not gonna say it will work every single time. Sometimes I've set an automation rule and it just won't do it. But that's not the case for the majority of the time and a lot of times it will work. But still, don't look at this as the way to never look at your ads again. Just think of it as a tool to assist with your campaigns and your product launches. And I think you guys will find a lot of value with this tip. So we're gonna jump into my computer and I'm gonna really briefly show you guys exactly how you can automate some of these ad sets and campaigns. There's really only four rules that I really use often in my campaigns and for my ad sets, but all four of these rules are incredibly useful and when implemented properly, they can save you a lot of money and a lot of time when it comes to managing all this stuff. So the first and most used rule out of all of them for me is pausing ad sets if the CPA is too high. So what this simply means is if the ad set costs more than $20 for a purchase, pause it. Pretty simple. To figure out what you want this number to be, just simply figure out how much profit you're making on each sale. Let's say you're making, in this case, $20 profit. You're not gonna want the ad set to be spending more than $20 to acquire a customer. It's quite simple and it doesn't take much thought. I just wanna show you guys this because it's pretty useful stuff. So we'll come into my ads manager here and I've hidden all the names just so you guys can't see that. And you'll look and see, and like these, these ad sets up top aren't doing that bad. But if we scroll to the bottom here, you can find some that are kind of starting to fall behind. This one doesn't look that good, so we'll probably end up shutting this one off. This one doesn't look that good, we'll probably end up shutting that one off. But let's go to this one right here. So my max profit on this product that I can make is $30. Therefore, I don't wanna spend more than $30 on any ad set for my cost per purchase. So how can we prevent this without having to watch all of these ad sets like a hawk? I've got like 10 plus campaigns going. It's not easy to look at all of them at all the time. So we'll go here and we'll click the checkbox and you can also do multiple and we'll, we'll, we'll group this one in too because the stats are quite similar. And then simply you just hit create rule and after you hit that, all you gotta do is fill in the blanks. And like I said guys, this stuff is not that hard but a lot of people don't know that this feature exists and it's really useful. So. It's gonna say cost per result is greater than $30. That's what I'm gonna put in there. And we'll put add. And usually it adds this lifetime impressions thing. Leave it, they have reasoning behind it. You can read about it there. Um, and for the time range, don't do lifetime. I always like to do the last seven days or the last three days because that's a more accurate representation of if the ad set is actually falling off and dying. If you're testing it at the lifetime, it's, 
not the greatest, especially if you're running this stuff for a long period of time. So I always say last seven days, and then simply you just name it. So we'll say CPP greater than $30, pause, add set. My computer's very slow right now. Hit create, and you're good to go. Let me close out of this software right here. Um, there we go. So yeah, that's one rule that you could create. Um, another rule that I also like to use a lot is to increase the budget if the CPA is, we'll say X for now, because it really depends on what your target cost is. So I don't like to scale by increasing the budget all too much, but on some campaigns I've been able to find success with that scaling method. and. Um, yeah, so we'll look at this ad set right here. This one is $32 spent to make 263. It's looking pretty good. So we'll make a rule here to say we want to change the action to adjust the budget, increase the daily budget by, and usually for the ones that I found success with, 15% seems to be a good number. So I'll increase the daily budget by 15%. If the cost per purchase is less than in this case we're gonna say 15 so if in the last three days the cost per purchase is less than 15 it's gonna increase your budget 15 percent and that's kind of what you want it's gonna do this at 12 a.m. right at midnight that way you don't have to sit up at midnight to do this yourself and it works the increasing budget scaling method isn't going to work on every ad account. It's kind of rocky on my ad account, but it has worked for me in the past. You can expect your ad sets to die off for a day or two, not completely, but you expect the sales to drop. And usually on that second or third day, you'll see it start to pick back up and re-optimize. This is normal. You should expect this. But it's a useful way to get your ad sets kind of scaling without you having to watch them like crazy. The only time that I really try the increasing budget is if the ad set won't scale with my other scaling methods, which you can find a link to um, on my channel. I made a video about my scaling methods. I covered it all in that video. It's like a 20 minute long video. So yeah, it works well. And we'll name this one increase budget. I'm actually not gonna run this one because I plan on doing other things with this ad set, but you guys see how this stuff works. So it's fairly useful just on the Facebook ads platform, but there's one area where the Facebook ads platform lacks. It doesn't allow you to say you can use the ROAS as a metric to determine if the rule activates. So you have to use another software that I use. It's called Reveal. And it does the same thing. It sets up your automation rules. I'm not going to click this right here and select the entity because it's gonna show you guys all the products I got running right now. Sorry. <laughs> but um, yeah, so in this case, we'll say increase budget if ROAS is over. Usually I like to set this at 3.5 or sometimes more. You can hit this entities thing here. And I'm gonna put a link to this software in the description. You don't need this, but it helps. And uh, we're gonna say increase budget gonna ask for the percentage we'll do 15% it's gonna do once a day this software is great the Facebook ads rules can be really buggy this this reveal bot never messes up at least it hasn't for me so you can go in here and in this one you can actually select that ROAS metric that you couldn't select in the other one I just have to find it <laughs> let me type R O. there it is right there so then we can set greater than 3.5 and there it is. What that's going to do is, is it's going to wait and check whatever ad set or campaign you put, and it's going to see if that ROAS is over 3.5. And if it checks out, it's going to increase your budget 15%. It's powerful stuff, guys. It makes it so you don't have to always be watching your stuff. And it helps. I, I, there's no other way to put it. I use this stuff all the time. Like I said, I don't scale by increasing budget often, but I use this for pausing my ad sets pretty much for every single testing campaign because it allows me to go live my life and focus on other tasks for my business that don't involve making sure my ads are good every couple of hours. So like I said, guys, this was just a quick tip, a little tutorial to show you guys how to use RevealBot and the automation rules 
on Facebook. I'll pull this back up so you guys can see. It's not too difficult of stuff, guys, but a lot of people don't even know that this stuff exists. So I felt like it was necessary to drop a video and just share what I know about it. I do got some bigger, um, serious tutorials on the way. They take a while. I'm, they're, they're in the works, so don't rush me here. I'm trying to make good content for you guys that will actually help your businesses. So that sounds interesting to you hit subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video or it helped you out in any way i'm trying to be really responsive to the comments so if you have a question or a video topic you want me to cover just drop that down below and i'll get to it so thank you guys for watching i hope this video helped you out and i will see you in the next one peace